Okay, on our closing en engine lid, I'd like to explain a little bit about the controls. Okay. Actually, the parts of the machine. Headstock, carriage, okay, bed, tailstock, okay. There's an electric motor down there with a belt that comes up and turns the spindle. Now this lathe has two transmissions. It has a variable speed transmission and a geared transmission. Okay. The variable speed gives you infinite range between the high and low RPM for high range and low range. On the lathe, low range is called back gear. This lever right here says back gear. Okay. Think of it as low range in, low range out, okay, which would be high range. Okay. This lever engages the power feed and changes its direction. Okay, in the middle is neutral. You want to keep it in neutral when you're not using it, so it just lessens the wear and tear on the gears. Okay, this is called the quick change gearbox for your power feeding and threading speeds. Okay. On the carriage, this biggest hand wheel rotates and moves the carriage left and right. The top surface of the wheel, the direction that the top surface is going will tell you the direction that the carriage goes if you forget. Okay. This is the cross slide, crossways to the ways, okay, or sometimes crossways to the longitudinal feed. It can only go perpendicular to the spindle. That's the only direction it can move. Okay. On top of that is your compound slide, this wheel here. Right now we have it set at 29 and a half degrees for threading a 60 degree thread. Okay. This lever starts the spindle when the motor is running. This engages the half nut onto the lead screw for cutting threads. And this is the threading dial to tell you when to engage the lever. This lever here, if you'll notice, there's a small diagram here. Okay. L stands for longitudinal, which would be left and right, parallel to the spindle axis. C stands for cross slide. So per the little arrows, with the lever to the right and up, that would be longitudinal feed. Lever in and down would be cross feed. So I'll demonstrate. With the machine running, pull the lever to the right and actually we need to gotta have the lead screw running. To the right and up gives you your longitudinal feed. Right now it's going to the right. If I want to go to the left, I stop it put this in the other direction. Now it's going to the left. Okay. If I slide the lever to the left and down, that operates the cross slide power feed. It's right now going in. If I change the direction lever, it'll come out. Okay. Tail stock. This small lever here, normally you don't use that. That locks the spindle so you can't move it. The large lever, push it back, it locks the tailstock in position. So if you want to slide it, pull that forward and you can move it. And then you have your hand wheel operates the tailstock spindle in and out. One thing you want to do before you start operating the lathe. Okay? This is a machine with lots of metal parts and certain parts are metal on metal. So you want to lubricate it. There's a bunch of little balls, these little spring-loaded ball plungers that you can put oil in. Okay. Blow them off. Make sure they're put dirt inside them when you put oil in them. So I'm going to go over all those, blow them out real good. There's a bunch of them. There's actually one on the front of this. There. And then you need an oil can with a small pointed spout like this one has. And what you do is you take the spout and you push the little ball in and just put a few drops of oil in there. Not all the oil goes in there, but some of it will. That one's 
feels like it's stuck. There it goes. And then put some on the ways for the tail stock and for the carriage. On both sides. That way everything's running on a film of oil. Okay, so now we're going to look at the fixed hook support. Start with a piece of one inch.